ministry of the Good Shepherd Lutheran Church. I'm Pastor Bob Schaefer. It's good to see you. Today is Sunday, September 26th, proper 21. Let's take a moment of silence now as we begin. Let's pray. Generous God, your Son gave his life that we might come to peace with you. Give us a share of your Spirit, and in all we do, empower us to bear the name of Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen. Today's scripture is found in the Gospel of Mark, chapter 9. John said to him, Teacher, we saw someone casting out demons in your name, and we tried to stop him because he was not following us. But Jesus said, Do not stop him, because no one who does a miracle in my name will be able soon afterward to say anything bad about me. For whoever is not against us is for us. I tell you the truth, whoever gives you a cup of water because you bear Christ's name will never lose his reward. If anyone causes one of these little ones who believe in me to sin, it would be better for him to have a huge millstone tied around his neck and to be thrown into the sea. If your hand causes you to sin, cut it off. It is better for you to enter life crippled than to have two hands and go into hell to the unquenchable fire. If your foot causes you to sin, cut it off. It is better to enter life lame than to have two feet and be thrown into hell. If your eye causes you to sin, tear it out. It is better to enter into the kingdom of God with one eye than to have two eyes and be thrown into hell, where their worm never dies and the fire is never quenched. Everyone will be salted with fire. Salt is good, but if it loses its saltiness, how can you make it salty again? Have salt in yourselves and be at peace with each other. Word of God, word of life. Thanks be to God. Now that we've dwelt in God's word, let's take some time to pray together. If you're comfortable doing so, I hope you'll pray out loud with me. It's good to lift our voices together to the Lord. Even though we're separated in time and in space, we're united by technology and in the power of the Spirit. So let's pray. Holy God, holy and mighty, holy and immortal, have mercy on us. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, God's only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven. He is seated at the right hand of the Father, and he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Show us your mercy, O God, and grant us your salvation. Give us the joy of your saving help again, and sustain us with your bountiful spirit. Give peace in all the world, for only in you can we live in safety. Keep the nations under your care, and guide us in the way of justice and truth. Let your way be known upon earth, your saving health among all nations. Let not the needy be forgotten, nor the hope of the poor be taken away. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and sustain me with your Holy Spirit. Lord, hear my prayer, and let my cry come before you. 
in peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the peace from above, and for our salvation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the peace of the whole world, for the well-being of the Church of God, and for the unity of all, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For this holy moment, and for all who offer in it their worship and praise, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the health of the creation, for abundant harvests that all may share, and for peaceful times, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For public servants, the government, and those who protect us, for those who work to bring peace, justice, healing, and protection in this and every place, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For those who travel, for those who are sick and suffering, and for those who are in captivity, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For deliverance in the time of affliction, wrath, danger, and need, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For all servants of the church, for the Good Shepherd and all those touched by its ministries, and for all people who await from the Lord great and abundant mercy, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help, save, comfort, and defend us, gracious Lord. Giving thanks for all who have gone before us and are at rest, rejoicing in the communion of all the saints, we commend ourselves, one another, and our whole life to you, through Christ our Lord. O God, you have called your servants to ventures of which we cannot see the ending, by paths as yet untrodden, through perils unknown. Give us faith to go out with good courage, not knowing where we go, but only that your hand is leading us, and your love supporting us. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. That'll do it for now. Thank you for spending a few minutes of your time with us today. We hope it's been a blessing. Please take a moment to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and tell your friends about us. Stop by and visit us online at goodshepherdlife.org. And please consider making a gift to support our ongoing ministry. You'll find our PayPal address in the program notes. Stay well, be of good cheer, and be kind to one another. I'll see you tomorrow.